Hi folks, Rusty with Sagacity All Stream Fabrication Engineering here with another episode in our basic tech series. Today we are talking about pressure transducers and pressure transmitters. Years and years ago, the only measurements you could use to accomplish a pressure measurement was use a board on tube type or diaphragm type pressure gauge. It was a mechanical measurement. Years carried forward and a Wheatstone bridge circuit was developed. The Wheatstone bridge is a circuit which when pressure is applied to it, the deflection of that bridge causes a voltage output and that's where we derive our measurement in an electronic pressure transducer. Pressure transducers have a Wheatstone bridge and a transducer is built into the transmitter, but they have differences. Transducers are typically a fixed range device, uh, although like this one, it's calibratable. It doesn't have a scalable output and it typically is used in applications where space is limited and you don't need a display. Transmitters, on the other hand, typically have a display. Their output is scalable over a range and you can recalibrate these in the field typically pretty easy versus recalibrating a transducer in the field. We're using an electronic device to measure pressure, but you need to make sure you use a transducer in the right spot and a transmitter in the right spot. Applications for transducers, which are typically a fixed range device, would be applications where you don't have uh, process variables changing in the future. A lubrication skid, for example, where you know you have to have 40 or 50 pounds of pressure in order to keep the lubrication of your equipment going. Uh, if you're looking at water injection or chemical injection, you know you have to have a certain PSI range to accomplish your process requirements. A fixed range transducer should do the trick where you may have variables in the process in the future, maybe the process conditions change, you want to use a transmitter. A transmitter has a variable range, uh, adjustable range for the output. So you may have a zero to 300 PSI range transmitter calibrated to that range, but the output is scalable to fit the range where, um, of interest for your application. Say you have a zero to 300 pound transmitter, but you only want to look at zero to 200 PSI, you can scale the output on the transmitter for that. And any application, process application, where the upstream or downstream pressures change and our process variables or even the product may change, you'll want to be able to scale that output to fit the change in those process conditions so that you get the feedback to your DCS that you require. So Josty sells both transducers and transmitters. Be sure and contact us to discuss your application to make sure you get the right device for your application. Thank you for watching today, folks. This is Rusty with Sagacity All Stream Fabrication Engineering.